guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'm gonna be doing this makeup look um i'm sorry that i've been completely mia for about just over two weeks now but i've been moving um so i completely moved out of my mum's house now but i'm finally back i'm ready to film loads of videos for you guys so stay tuned for more videos but if you want to see how i got this makeup look right here it's inspired by jamie genevieve i saw a picture that she posted and i really liked how she did the pink underneath like a really nice smoky eye so i decided to create my own so if you want to see how i created this look right here then please keep watching <laughs> So jumping straight into the video, I'm just going to prime my lip using my Carmex and then I'm going to prime my eyes using this concealer and then I'm just going to blend it out. So then just taking the lightest shade from this Morphe palette and setting my concealer on my eyes. And then going in with this light brown shade and a fluffy brush and just using it to buff in my crease as a transition shade. Then just taking this dark brown shadow and a smaller, denser blending brush and just working it on the outer corners of my eye and blending it inwards. And I just keep building up slowly and blending out until I get the intensity that I want then I'm just taking this richer brown colour on that same larger fluffy brush and just sort of going over everything to add a bit more warmth to the eye and then I'll be taking that lighter shade again with a flat eyeshadow brush and then just working on the inner corners of my eye and blending it into the middle. Next I'm priming my face using this Pixie primer and then for foundation today I'm going to be using the Maybelline Matte and Poreless in the shade 105. I've really been liking this foundation um it's something different it's still drugstore which is amazing but i've been wanting to try it for quite a long time now and i'm loving it and then i'm just using this it's like a cheaper version of the artiste brush but this is actually such a soft brush i'm loving it so much and then for concealer i'm using the fit me concealer again just where I normally would put it underneath my eyes, on my chin, on my nose and on my forehead and then blending it out with a beauty blender. Then to set underneath my eyes, I'm going to use Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder, just on this Kat Von D brush. And I also didn't get in my eyebrows or, or anything else, so I'll put the products in that I use, but I'm really sorry that I couldn't film it. It was basically just the top of my head the whole time, so I didn't put any anything in and the same goes for my eyeliner and putting on my lashes and mascara as well so i'm really sorry about that but i will do another video um showing you how i did that um so for contour i'm using the smashbox contour kit with this kat von d brush and chiseling out my cheeks And then I'm just going over that with my MAC Studio Fix Powder and this big fluffy brush. And then for bronzer I'm going to be using the Benefit Hula Bronzer. And 
for blush, I'm using this, this one from Autograph. And then I'm just going to add a little bit more powder underneath my eyes because I feel like my dark circles are still poking through a little bit. So I'm just using this powder from the Kat Von D Shade and Light palette. And then for highlight, I'm using this Revolution palette and these two shades together. And just highlighting where I normally would on my nose, my cheekbones and a little bit above my eyebrows as well. And then to set my whole face, I'm just going to be using the Gerald Cosmetics Slay All Day in the peach shade. And then again, I'm really sorry, I didn't film this bit very well either. So this is what I use for underneath my eyes. This palette and this blush, I just blended it out. And then for my lips, I use the MAC Strip Down Liner with the Kylie Cosmetics Liquid Lipstick. So this is the finished result. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in my next one, guys. Bye.